Rocky Road. Have you ever thought of life like a song? By the way, this is my icebreaker speech. I just wanted to clarify that so you know. Where you have rhythms, movement throughout the song. You have changes that could go up or down in any good song. Now my nephew, he always said, life's like a musical. For me, it's always been a song. I was raised to appreciate the art. I like good music and good food and love going to restaurants. When I was young, I remember going to Saddleback Church. This is still when it was a small church. As I walked into the gym, I remember seeing the big mixer with rows and rows and rows of knobs all over it with a flow of cables coming out the back end of that mixer. And, and I saw that, and I said, this is what I want to do. I want to be a sound mixer. I want to mix sound. So I went to Golden West College, where I learned how to mix sound. After that, I would take on any job I could find. Oh, some of the bands were just awful. I don't know how I even got through them, but I did. And after that, I finally got a semi-decent job working for a small dinner theater. I don't know if you guys ever been there called Tibby's Music Hall. It was out by John Wayne Airport. Every night we would put on variety shows. It was a blast. That's where I learned stage lighting, was at Tibby's. From there, I got the best job I ever, ever could imagine. I got to work at the theater department at Golden Month College. It was the hardest job, but the funnest job I ever worked. I worked great shows like Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Coat and Anything Goes and many other shows there until it was time. It was time to move on, to put on my cowboy boots, to move to the Temecula Stampede and work with country western bands. Now, I don't like country western music, but if they pay me, I'll love it. I worked bands like Toby Keith, Neil McCoy, and many others in a lot of different types of shows there. Variety shows, it was fun. But the owners, they were having financial problems because it's a little expensive to put on those kind of shows. And they stopped having bands. Now the economy at this time wasn't great, but I was having a hard time finding work. I was really frustrated. And I decided to take a normal nine to five job and a normal paycheck. <laughs> that decision that I made, I realized today I made the wrong decision, but that's okay. I lost two things. I lost my dream and I lost my creativity that day when I made that decision. I got a job working in a small retail store or like a mailbox, et cetera, type store. And I stayed there for some time. And at one point the store changed ownership and they asked me to stay on so i did and i almost stayed on there a little too long almost 20 years at that particular job the new owner got sick he got ill he got cancer and i remember the day we had a meeting at coco's and we were sitting there and he goes john i have to close the doors i have to let you go and i just remember choking up i've been here for 20 years what am I going to do now? And it was tough. I thought I had it all worked out. And I found a job at another small store really fast. I was real lucky. I was excited. I found it. And the guy gave me such a great opportunity. But after the first few weeks there, I discovered something. It was a toxic work environment. After one year, I just couldn't take it anymore. And I walked out of the job in the middle of a bad economy. So from part-time to part-time job and struggle to struggle, I then moved on to go to work at Wells Fargo for a year until I got laid off there. That's because I'm a notary and I'm still a notary to this day and they hired me to do notary. I don't like to say this for the foreclosures, but I did it, it was a paycheck. But one thing during that time was I ran into old, an old friend and she goes, John, you should join Toastmasters. Yay! And her name is Peggy. <laughs> I go, Peggy, you're nuts. 
Now, I had a self-confidence problem at this time after leaving that bad job, but I told Peggy, you're crazy, me and Toastmasters? Peggy was the type of person who would not give up. She would stay on it. John, you should join Toastmasters. So I finally went, and Toastmasters gave me my self-confidence back, it gave me my dream back, and my creativity. My song is still being written. Right now I'm working part-time at Target, but I know that's going to change too. I'm adding new parts to my song, new notes, so I can have a good life song. Thank you very much. Thank you.